Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Romans 12 verse 11 Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 For this reason, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Psalm 119 verse 11 I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Psalm 63 verse 1 You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Matthew 22 verse 37 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Mark 12 verse 30 Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Galatians 6 verse 9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Psalm 34 verse 8 Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. James 4 verse 8 Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Psalm 51 verse 10 Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Colossians 3 verse 2 Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Romans 8 verse 5 Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the Spirit have their minds set on what the Spirit desires. Psalm 42 verses 1 to 2 as the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? Proverbs 29 verse 18 Where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint, 
but blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 24 Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Jeremiah 29 verse 13 You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Hebrews 11 verse 6 And without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Philippians 3 verse 14 I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 2 Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. Psalm 27 verse 4 One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Matthew 7 verse 7 Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Romans 12 verse 12 Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Psalm 119 verse 18 Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Psalm 63 verse 8 I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. Proverbs 8 verse 17 I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. Proverbs 21 verse 25 The craving of a sluggard will be the death of him because his hands refuse to work. Proverbs 8 verse 11 For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Matthew 6 verse 21 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Psalm 119 verses 9 to 11 How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 2 Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Psalm 119 verses 14 to 16 I rejoice in following your statutes as one rejoices in great riches. I meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. I delight in your decrees. I will not neglect your word. Psalm 119 verse 97 Oh, how I love your law! I meditate on it all day long. Psalm 119 verses 99 to 100 I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. Psalm 37 verse 7 be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways when they carry out their wicked schemes. Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21 Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, 
where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Romans 2 verses 6 to 7 God will repay each person according to what they have done. To those who by persistence in doing good seek glory, honor, and immortality, he will give eternal life. Psalm 51 verse 17 My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. Psalm 84 verse 2 My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Matthew 22 verses 37 to 38 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. John 14 verse 15 If you love me, keep my commands. Psalm 119 verse 20 My soul is consumed with longing for your laws at all times. Psalm 119 verse 25 I am laid low in the dust. Preserve my life according to your word. Psalm 119 verse 40 how I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, preserve my life. Proverbs 10 verse 4. Lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. Colossians 3 verse 17. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus giving thanks to God the Father through him. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Matthew 5 verse 6 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Psalm 119 verses 47 to 48 I delight in your commands because I love them. I reach out for your commands which I love that I may meditate on your decrees. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Psalm 119 verse 131 I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. 1 Peter 1 verse 7 these have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Psalm 119 verses 161 to 162 Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart trembles at your word. I rejoice in your promise like one who finds great spoil. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 25 Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. Psalm 84 verse 10 Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. Isaiah 26 verse 9 My soul yearns for you in the night, 
In the morning, my spirit longs for you. When your judgments come upon the earth, the people of the world learn righteousness. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 2 Corinthians 5 verses 14 to 15 For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all, and therefore all died. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. 1 Timothy 6 verse 11 But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Isaiah 55 verse 6 Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Philippians 3 verses 13 to 14. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 45 I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought out your precepts. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 2 Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Psalm 119 verse 146 I call out to you, save me, and I will keep your statutes. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 7 But since you excel in everything in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in complete earnestness, and in the love we have kindled in you see that you also excel in this grace of giving. 1 Chronicles 16 verse 11 Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. Psalm 119 verse 133 Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Romans 14 verse 17 For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Psalm 42 verse 2 My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? Romans 12 verse 8 If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Psalm 119 verse 59 I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Psalm 143 verse 6 I spread out my hands to you, I thirst for you like a parched land. Romans 12 verses 6 to 8 We have different gifts, according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. 
If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Jeremiah 29 verses 12 to 13. Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Psalm 63 verses 1 to 2. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 2. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Psalm 63 verse 3 Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. Psalm 34 verse 10 The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 Therefore, we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Psalm 119 verse 74 May those who fear you rejoice when they see me, for I have put my hope in your word. Romans 10 verse 2 For I can testify about them that they are zealous for God, but their zeal is not based on knowledge. Romans 12 verse 9 Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Psalm 105 verse 4 Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek His face always. Romans 12 verses 17 to 19. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. Psalm 119 verse 176 I have strayed like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for I have not forgotten your commands. Psalm 40 verse 16 But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who long for your saving help always say, The Lord is great. Proverbs 2 verses 1 to 5. My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Colossians 3 verse 16 Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. Matthew 6 verse 24 No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. 
You cannot serve both God and money. 1 John 5 verse 14 This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 16 verse 11 You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 Pray continually. Matthew 5 verses 14 to 16 You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Psalm 119 verse 127 Because I love your commands more than gold, more than pure gold. Psalm 25 verse 4 Show me your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 143 verse 8 let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Colossians 3 verse 15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Psalm 143 verse 10 Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. 1 Peter 1 verse 8 Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. Psalm 25 verse 5 Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. Romans 12 verse 10 be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Psalm 143 verse 11 For your name's sake, Lord, preserve my life. In your righteousness, bring me out of trouble. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7 Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Psalm 27 verse 8 My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Psalm 119 verse 35 Direct me in the path of your commands, for there I find delight. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 6 For God, 
who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. Psalm 143 verse 12 In your unfailing love, silence my enemies. Destroy all my foes, for I am your servant. Philippians 4 verse 4 Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Psalm 86 verse 11 Teach me your way, Lord, that I may rely on your faithfulness. Give me an undivided heart, that I may fear your name. Galatians 5 verse 16 So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Psalm 145 verse 18 The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Ephesians 5 verse 8 for you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. Psalm 119 verse 99 I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. 1 John 1 verse 5 This is the message we have heard from him and declared to you, God is light in him. There is no darkness at all. 29. Philippians 1 verse 21. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Psalm 119 verse 71. It was good for me to be afflicted so that I might learn your decrees. Hebrews 4 verse 12. For the word of God is alive and active sharper than any double-edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart psalm 46 verse 10 he says be still and know that i am god i will be exalted among the nations i will be exalted in the earth Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Psalm 119 verse 67 Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. Psalm 119 verse 164 Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous laws. Romans 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Psalm 119 verse 165 Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. Romans 12 verse 21 Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. James 4 verses 7 to 8 Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded.